Stefan Bradl leaves full-time riding to become a test rider for Honda. With all his achievements, to get to where he was, something had to push him to make such a choice. As he continues to test ride for Honda, well, his fans can only wonder, what is next for him? Stefan Bradl is highly recognized as the 2011 Moto2 World Champion. Having ridden with several teams throughout his career and the magnificent Honda, Stefan has been in the limelight and still keeps pushing. Times have not always been easy for him, especially when he made one of his life's biggest mistakes which he forever regrets, not forgetting his great jealousy of Marc Marquez and his team that he held on to for a long time. So, what was Stefan's great mistake and what did he say about it? And why was he so jealous of Marc Marquez, a much younger rider than him? Stay tuned to find out. Stefan Bradl was destined to become a racer, and he started in the World Championship in 2005 for the 125cc class as a wildcard. He competed in the 125cc class German Championship with KTM. He participated in several other wildcard races, still with KTM in 2006. A terrible fracture took him down in the Malaysian GP in 2006 after he collided with another rider. He returned later that year to participate in the Red Bull KTM Junior again. Alberto offered Stefan a chance in 2007 to race for the 250cc Repsol Honda factory team. But after a few tests, he withdrew but kept on racing. Later, with Blossom's Aprilia, he joined the Spanish 125cc championship and won the title five points ahead of Scott Redding, his teammate. Stefan still proceeded to do World Championship wildcard races with the same team. He got his hands on a new bike going forward from 2007 with Team Blossom's Aprilia, while also replacing Hugo Vandenberg. Rather than stick with Blossom's Aprilia for 2008, he decided to work with Gas Kiefer Racing with an RSA125 official from the Aprilia factory. He achieved his first win at Bruno the same track his father had achieved a victory at in 1991. After making his way to the Grand Prix Racing Moto2 class, he claimed ninth position in the championship with a single win at Estoril. In 2011, Stefan won four out of six races at the beginning of the season to keep a constant and healthy championship lead, but Marc Marquez gained significant speed and became a threat to him. The competition was fierce, with Marc and Stefan doing their best to claim the championship. With only two rounds remaining, Marquez fell out of the competition after a fall when practicing for the Malaysian Grand Prix and could not race for the remaining part of the season because of eyesight problems. Stefan therefore claimed the championship in the season's final race in Valencia, Spain. In 2012, Stefan got into a contract with Team LCR Honda and had a good season while constantly being in the top 10 and the best result of a fourth position at the Italian Grand Prix. He finished the season in eighth position and claimed Rookie of the Year. Stefan fought heavily while in the second category of riders in 2013 with Alvaro Bautista, Cal Crutchlow and Valentino Rossi. His notable performance during the season was a United States Grand Prix pole position at Laguna Seca and also finished in second position with his first podium in MotoGP. A crash that left him with a broken ankle towards the season's end threw him out of competition for fifth position with Crutchlow and Bautista. He completed the season in seventh position with 156 points. Stefan kept riding for Honda in 2014. But in August of that same year, it was announced that Cal Crutchlow was making his way to LCR Honda with the Honda RC213V for 2015. Stefan also announced that he would be leaving to join Team Forward Racing for 2015 with an open specification bike. As the 2015 season opened, Stefan was joined by Loris Braz, who had made his way from the Superbike World Championship. By half the season, Stefan had gained 9 points, as much as he had not taken part in his race at the Saxon Ring because of an injury. As soon as the summer break was over, Stefan parted ways with the team and company. After Giovanni Cazzari, who was the team's boss, was arrested and questioned about money laundering, Stefan became a part of Aprilia Grassini Racing in August for the rest of the season of 2015. He claimed a 20th position at Indianapolis afterward and a 14th position at Bruno, his first point score for the team. He was partnered by Alvaro Bautista, a Spanish rider, for the season of 2016. He gained 63 points without any poles, podiums, or fastest laps. At the end of the season, he was in 16th position overall. Moving on to 2017, he left MotoGP for the Superbike World Championship with Team Red Bull Honda. He completed only six rounds with four half rounds, gaining 67 points and placing himself in 14th position overall. 
Stefan returned to MotoGP in 2018 as a replacement for Franco Morbidelli for the Mark VDS racing team at Saxon Rink after Morbidelli had suffered a severe injury. He made two wildcard appearances for Team HRC Honda at the San Marino and the Czech Republic rounds. Stefan replaced Crutchlow for the last two rounds at LCR Honda and finished in 13th position in Malaysia and 9th position in Valencia. He gained a total of 10 points the whole season and was in 24th position overall. He got a contract to be a test rider for Honda in 2019. He competed in the Spanish Grand Prix with wildcard entries in Germany, the Czech Republic and the Austrian Grand Prix as Jorge Lorenzo's replacement when he suffered an injury. He completed his wildcard ride in Jerez in 10th position. He rode again on a second outing for Jorge Lorenzo's replacement, finishing in 10th in Germany, 15th position in Bruno, and took the 13th position in Austria. In 2020, Stefan rode as Marc Marquez's replacement, starting from the rounds at the Czech Republic onwards as Marquez recovered from the injuries he'd received at the Spanish Grand Prix in August. Stefan was still Marquez's replacement for the early season of 2021. Bradle continues to test ride for HRC in 2022. Stefan's Biggest Regret Mistakes are common in motorcycle racing, and there is one specific mistake that he forever regrets. As a test rider for Honda, he admitted that in 2017, when he joined the World SBK, he had made the biggest mistake of his life and has regretted it ever since. The results were terrible for Stefan and the Honda's Satellite World Superbike project. The death of Stefan's teammate Nicky Hayden only made things worse for him as he was still coping. Nicky Hayden passed away in a accident and I was there in the team alone. Nicky lost his life tragically in May 2017 after a bicycle accident. Stefan commented on how he suffered like crazy the year he decided to join World SBK with Nicky Hayden passing and leaving him alone in the team. Listen, I went to Superbike and this was one of my biggest mistakes I make in life. He had no clue what to do with his life in the future, but he got a call from Takeo asking if he would be interested in becoming Honda's test rider, and Stefan said he was very interested. After racing with Team Red Bull Honda for only a single season in World Superbikes, and as you will have gathered by now, Stefan stopped racing full-time to become a test rider for Honda in the MotoGP events. Stefan recently admitted that he would have never entered Mark's office during the time he was jealous of him. With time, they both matured, and after winning championships in several other categories in the previous years, they have crossed paths several times and greatly respect one another. At the moment, Stefan and Mark's team have a good relationship, which was once his greatest rival in 2011. He kept the fact that he was jealous of Mark no longer a secret and openly admitted it. Stefan had great determination to defeat Marquez, but at some point he was left with no choice but to accept that Marquez was faster than him, way faster. During that time, he had a lot of questions running through his mind, but he never had an answer on how he could be faster than Marquez while he was racing for Team LCR Honda. Stefan tried his best to get his head around the situation, but he could never understand how a younger person could make his way straight to MotoGP. The factory team then claimed the title in his debut year, the same person he'd been competing against for the championship several seasons back. It was a really tough time for Stefan as Marquez showed him the dust. And he finally learned to deal with the fact that Marc Marquez was really talented and a gifted rider that deserved to be the champion he was. Here are some interesting facts about Stefan Bradl. Number 1. His father was Helmut Bradl, a Grand Prix racer well known in the 1980 and 1990s for his performances in the 250cc class. Number 2. He's been both a TV commentator and host. Number 3. He's a family man. Number 4. He has a great sense of humor. And number five, he is very grateful for everything life has given him, not only being a motorcycle racer, but taking on other roles as well. His personal life. His dating life. Just like most celebrities, Stefan Bradl has kept his dating life private, and there are no indications of who he's dating or who he has dated before. He is, however, not married, nor has he been engaged. Social media. Stefan Bradl is not missing on the social media scene. He has an Instagram account, at Stefan Bradl 6. He constantly uploads pictures and videos and does not forget to engage his fans. He has over 144,000 followers with as many as 480 posts to date. His net worth. From the moment he got onto the tracks, Stefan rose to become a good racer and make some good money. As of 2022, his net worth is estimated to be between $100,000 and $1 million all from his racing career.
As much as Stefan made some wrong choices along the way, he's still going strong with Honda as a test rider and is grateful for the opportunity, even though he isn't racing full-time with any factory team. Were you a fan of Stefan Bradl? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.